Hey guys, Fraser from Farmers United, and this video is not a mod review, it's going to be a video on all the commands for a basic server, and that is uh, downloading the server off Minecraft.net, not any bucket servers or anything. Uh, I said before Nick that Nick would be doing a bucket plugin reviews, but um, not anymore because it's a relatively small community and it's a, a lot of work, so it's not really worth it. However, we do need another series, so if anybody has a good or unique idea, please leave a comment below. So to enter in commands, you'll need to press your talk key, which is usually T, and however you can find it by going into options and controls. You always have to start with a forward slash, which is going from bottom left to top right, um, unless you're the owner, who, and you can just type it into the console and you don't need to put the forward slash. Uh, however, I'm going to call them slashes in this thing, so just remember I'm talking about forward slash. So everyone in the server gets three basic commands. The kill, the slash kill command will instantly kill somebody, uh, or kill you, only you, and drops everything you have, respawns you, everything. So this can be used in case you're trapped or you're really far away, you just want to get back to spawn. The slash me and then whatever is a pretty useless command but it uses an internet relay chat function and if if you don't know what that is don't worry about it it's not worth knowing um the slash tell and their name that you want to tell and then the message command is just like talking but it's only to one person however they can see it, the admin can see it in the server so the, the console so don't say anything about the admin to get the following commands, you will need to be an OP or operator. The admin person who is hosting the server can op somebody by adding them to the op list with all the server information or by typing it in, typing in slash op and their name. After a person has operation privileges, they can op another person or de op them. So uh, the first commands for ops uh, slash help. This gives you a list of all commands, well not all, a lot of commands which ops can use. This is very helpful so remember slash help. Uh, slash kick and their name will kick someone from the server and but they only have to join back and by the way you can do this to other ops but they can do it back to you. <laughs> uh, slash ban and their name will kick and keep someone out of the server until they are unbanned. Slash pardon and their name will unban somebody from the server previously banned so they cannot reconnect slash ban hyphen IP and their IP will ban anybody using this IP as an admin you will get the IP of the person as they join in the console you can see in brackets and then their name what their IP is uh, slash pardon hyphen IP and their IP is the same as unbanning just for the IP there's a lot of slash slash op and their name as I said, gives the person operating commands. Slash DOP and their name will remove a person's operating privileges. Okay, uh, slash TP and then you go the person going and the person staying. You have to remember that order. Teleports one person to another. And this doesn't have to be you, by the way. I'll slash give the person's name, the item ID, which you can get from the Minecraft wiki and or any other place and how many of the item if you don't you don't have to put how many of the item but um if you don't you just get 64 and this spawns someone a certain item and this doesn't have to be you again uh slash stop this stops the server and it can be really friggin annoying if an op does this because uh it closes your server and you have to reboot it slash save all forces a server wide save uh there are also Two more save commands, but not really too sure on what they do, so but they don't look that uh, important. Slash list gives you a list of all current players online. Slash say displays a pink text without a name and it just says server. Slash whitelist on or off enables or disables the whitelist. Slash whitelist add or remove and then the name. Adds or removes a person from whitelist. Slash whitelist list is a list. Of, it gives you a list of all the people on the whitelist at the moment. 
and slash whitelist reload reloads the text document named whitelist. That's for the admin. Slash time add or set and then the amount. And this adds or sets the time of the world. Um, the time can be between 0 and 24,000 where 0 is the dawn, the very morning, and 4,000 is dusk when it's getting dark. Uh, the best thing to do for this is time set zero. If you ever forget these commands, remember, remember you can type in slash help to get a lot of them but not all of them. 